Hi, I'm Max Weber, and today I'm going to teach you everything about cells. You may know that you are made up entirely of cells, but have you ever wanted to know what those cells are made of? Cells are hypercomplex particles that are too small for the human eye to see. They make up every single thing in your body, from your heart to your bones. Now, despite the fact that the cells are very, very small, they are made up of many different pieces that work together in unison to complete different tasks. Every part of the cell has a different function, from telling the other parts what to do, to packaging proteins. But first, what is a cell? A cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of an organism. It is believed that every single living thing is made up of cells, even you. Even more amazing is that the cell houses your DNA, which tells your cell how to make you. But more on that later. Earlier, I said that every cell is made up of many different parts. The majority of this video will be about the different parts and what they do. To sum them up, we have the cell wall, the centriole, the cell membrane, the chloroplasts, the mitochondria, the cytoplasm, the endoplasmic reticulum, or ER. We also have the Golgi apparatus, the lysosomes, the ribosomes, the nucleus, and the vacuoles. We also have the nucleus and the cytoskeleton. And now onto the cell wall and the cell membrane. An important note is that plant cells do have cell walls, while animal cells do not have cell walls. Instead of a cell wall, animal cells have a cell membrane. However, plant cells have both a cell wall and a cell membrane. Cell walls look like a cell walls look like big brick walls. If you look at a plant cell under a microscope, you will see a big formation of the cell wall that like I said, looks like a big brick wall. Because of the cell wall, plant cells look more like diamonds instead of spheres like plant cells. The function of the cell wall slash membrane is to protect the internal functions of the cell. The centriole is a much less well-known part of the cell. Its function is just to form fibers into separate chromosomes during cell division. And it looks like a churro. A very, very important part of the cell is the chloroplast. The chloroplast only is found in plant cells. The reason for that is that it conducts photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is when a plant absorbs sunlight. This also causes the plant to turn green. Now, there are not many green animals, and there is not a single animal that absorbs sunlight for its energy, so chloroplasts are only found in plant cells. And it looks like a bean or a pill. The mitochondria is very important in the cell. It converts food into energy for the cell, since the cell cannot use the raw nutrients that it gets. And it kind of looks like a maggot. The cytoplasm and the cytoskeleton both give the cell its shape. Without them, the cell would merely fall apart. The cytoplasm looks like jelly inside of the cell, while the cytoskeleton is more like support bars that gives the cell its shape by supporting the outside. The endoplasmic reticulum is also a very interesting part of the cell. It exports proteins and hormones, that are inside of the cell. Imagine that it's like a giant Amazon facility. It packages up parts of stuff that are inside the facility and then ships them out. Now there are two kinds of endoplasmic reticulum. There is smooth ER and rough ER. Rough ER has ribosomes on the outside of it, while smooth ER does not. The Golgi apparatus sorts and packs proteins, lipids, and fats to be exported by the endoplasmic reticulum. And it kind of looks like a vent with lots of tubes, because the vent gives it to the endoplasmic reticulum. The lysosomes clean out clutter from the cell and attack viruses and bacteria. 
They also break down old cell parts to be reused by the current cell. The vacuoles and the vesicles store food and nutrients that will be used in the future by the cell. They also filter out toxins from incoming products. They're kind of like the liver. The liver filters out harmful materials that are incoming to the body, and so do the vacuoles and vesicles. The ribosomes translate RNA into proteins. RNA is similar to DNA in the fact that it holds some genetic material. Ribosomes look like tiny dots. This next part of the cell is probably the most important part. It is the nucleus. The nucleus runs and processes everything that happens in the cell. And on top of that, it holds all of your genetic information. The genetic information it was, is what makes you, you. The genetic information tells the cell how to build itself, which then builds you. As I said earlier, every single thing in your body is made up of cells. Cells make up your skin, they make up your bones, they even make up your hair and fingernails. But they are so small and so grouped together that you can't see them or feel them. They just simply group together to form you. Even though cells are great things that it would be impossible to live without, some things can go very wrong that could destroy or even end your life. For example, take cancer. The definition of cancer is a disease caused by an uncontrolled division of abnormal cells in a part of the body. Cancer causes a growth or a tumor that results from the division of abnormal cells, which just causes more cancer. Since there is no cure for cancer yet, it usually causes death or serious injury to the body. However, to tie cells into the real world, using our newfound cellular knowledge, it could be possible to find a cure for cancer, saving countless lives across the world. Up until now, scientists have not been able to find a cure for cancer, but since new things are discovered about cells every single day, maybe sometime in the future it could be possible to find a cure for cancer. So, after watching this video, I hope that you are inspired to go out and learn more about these fascinating cells. I'm Max Weber. Thank you for watching.